A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, This day the Lord your God commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be careful then to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today you are making this agreement with the Lord. He is to be your God, and you are to walk in his ways, and observe his statutes, commandments, and decrees, and to hearken to his voice. And today, the Lord is making this agreement with you. You are to be a people peculiarly his own, as he promised you, and provided you keep all his commandments, he will then raise you high in praise and renown and glory above all other nations he has made. And you will be a people sacred to the Lord, your God, as he promised. The word of the Lord. Are they who follow the law of the Lord? Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. I will give you thanks with upright heart when I have learned your just ordinances. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. just 
and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not tax collectors do the same? And if you beat your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Well, I kind of wish I wasn't here today because it's always hard to preach on that which is hard to do. Believe me. And again, this is one of those challenging teachings of Jesus. And we're in this section of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus again is teaching us in order to keep the law we have to go beyond the law. Let me say that again. In order to keep the law, we have to go beyond the law. And today's teaching is certainly a powerful reminder that the teachings of Jesus take us far beyond any law of restraint. And as he challenges us this day, to love our enemies. He clearly, clearly removes all the boundaries we put on love. And he's saying in effect to us, we are to love as God loves us. And one of the marvelous things that Jesus understood so well is God does not deal with us as we deserve. And over and over again in the scriptures, we are reminded God takes our sins, loves us in them, and forgives them. In particular, think in Matthew's Gospel, where the angel comes to Joseph in a dream, and the angel says simply, you must name him Jesus because he will save God's people from their sins. That's the attitude of God toward you, me, and all others. Or think of the famous John 3.16. God so loved the world, God gave the only begotten Son. Jesus is actually a gift of the abundance of God's love for us. But even more important are the verses after John 3.16, which I made sure I memorized. And God sent the Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So Jesus is God's saving gift for sinners. All sinners. And this teaching today reminds us if God can love and care for us, if God can forgive us in our weaknesses and shortcomings, how much more must we strive to not do the same, to do the same to one another? And in particular, he says today, to your enemies. Jesus sets a very high bar for love. Unfortunately, I like you far too many times have chipped away at it and tried to lower it rather than keep it high as it's meant to be. Uh.